It has been nearly two weeks since Tropical Cyclone Ida ripped through Mozambique, raising buildings and submerging entire towns and villages, but even now the human toll is yet to be fully understood. The Category 2 storm, which made landfall in the early hours of March 15 with 175 kph, 110 miles per hour, winds and heavy rains, has devastated this southern African country. Driving away from the airport in Bra, a port city that bore the brunt of the cyclone, it was impossible to escape the sight of debris. As the rain eases, residents are emerging to surveying the ruins that remain and begin their cleanup efforts. Drone footage shot by between Bra and the village of Tika has revealed the extent of the damage in cyclone hit areas. Factories have been ripped clean apart while the entire aluminium roof of a school building was hanging precariously. Nothing in Bra, from the cathedral to restaurants, banks and the port, where the cyclone dislodged shipping containers, escaped Iodai's wrath. From affluent homes built in eye-catching Portuguese colonial style to more modest properties, the tropical cyclone took something. Telecom masts, satellite feeds and the internet all bowed to its force. The overall effect was that Idai knocked this thriving port city into a pre-digital world. Yet it's not until you leave Bra that the cyclone's destructive powers are really exposed. On the road to Tika, around 80 kilometers, 49 miles. From Bra's beaches, drone footage revealed massive tracts of waterlogged land and huge trees snapped like twigs. This road into the interior of Mozambique should lead all the way to Zimbabwe with the sea firmly in the rear view mirror. Instead, the huge swathes of inland water that are visible from space greet motorists. For so many, these waters have taken over their lives. Farmers' crops have disappeared and their livestock are left to wade through the murky waters in search of somewhere to graze. Complicating the situation further, the 